So you have differential settings for the exit of the corner, for the entry of the corner, and during the break of the corner. So these are all for differential, but different times during the corner. Then you have torque settings and different scenarios that again are settings for a bit of the whole car. So the braking system, the engine, and everything. Oh, every lap. Every lap. You, there's always an engineer at least once per lap telling them to change some settings. They keep changing. So is, is, is it the engineer who told them to yes. change settings? Yes. Or the they engineers? can choose uh, no. settings by their own? No, no, no. 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 The, the engineer is telling them what to change, but they cannot tell them how to change it. So let's say that the engineer is telling um, a driver to go to a specific setting. Mm -hmm. If the driver doesn't remember how to do it, the engineer cannot te tell them what, how to do it. That's by regulation. All the buttons here. So you have the pit limiter, 80 kilometers an hour in uh, uh, road circuit. Otherwise, it's 100 for normal circuit. Rear wing. This control the DRS. So the flap that opens from the rear wing. Recharge is to recharge the batteries. Uh, engineers say that a lot. Recharge on or recharge off because we need to recharge the batteries. So the settings of the engine change when they need to recharge the batteries. Uh, batteries are there for the electric engine to use for 33 seconds every lap. It gives a boost of about 200 horsepower for 33 seconds. Burnout, this is what they use before starting the race, you know, when they warm up the tires. Basically, it, it, it disables the traction, tra traction control so that uh, they can burn out. D is for drink. Drivers always have a straw in their mouth. So when you hear them talking on radio, they sound funny and they sound a bit weird because they're always talking with a straw in their mouth. So uh, that's uh, but the funny thing about this is that I, once I asked the driver if they actually drink during the race, and they said yes in the first 15 minutes because after that, the, the temperature of the water goes up to boiling so they don't drink it anymore. Overtake gives them a boost to overtake during the laps. Uh, this is for uh, the radio, to talk to the guys in the radio. Turn it on, start talking, and then switch it off. Oil checks the oil pressure. And then the OK is for the driver to communicate with uh, the pit lane. So let's, sometimes it happens that the microphone of the driver doesn't work anymore, but they can still hear what the guys are saying here. So if they say, Nico, can you hear me? They will press the OK and say, yes, I can hear you. And then there's the neutral, neutral button. On the back is a whole different story. On each side, you have one, two, three, and four pad paddles. There's a small one here. Middle ones are for gear shifting. You go up with this one and down with this one. Here you have the clutch. This Formula One, since a couple of years, they only have one clutch, but you still have two commands for the clutch. This is because when you're on the straight, it doesn't matter which one you use. But when you're going out of the pit, you're like that. So you can't reach here, so you need it here. If you're going out the other direction, you don't reach here, so you have it here. That's why they need two paddles for the clutch. Uh, these two up here are customizable for the driver. So if they want to put the DRS, if they want to put another one, they can choose whatever, whatever they want to put here. And then the two small ones here, so these are a quick brake balance. So for the proper brake balance, they have a paddle inside the cockpit. But for quick ones, they have two settings that they can put here. So let's say that in corner, corner three, they always need one different brake balance just for that corner. So before the braking point, they will tap this one. Brake balance changes. After the corner, tap it again, and it goes back to the normal braking balance. So they have two pedals for uh, quick ones. Use no, yeah, they can have two different settings. On the ah, two. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then the last one they have is the quick release. So when I need to remove the steering wheel, this is very important because the uh, drivers have seven seconds to remove the steering wheel, remove the seat belt, get out of the car and put the steering wheel back. So every, every race weekend, uh, on a Thursday or on a Friday, the drivers need to go to do the um, safe release of the car and they need to stick to seven seconds to do all of this.
every time. It's a question of safety? It's a question of safety. So they have seven seconds to leave the car in case of emergency. Mm -hmm. And they need to be able to do all of this. And they always need to put the steering wheel back in the car. Why? Because the, marsh the marshals, if the car is in a dangerous place, the marshals need to move ah, the car okay. around. Mm -hmm. And they need to be able to steer the car. So the steering wheel must, must always be back in place. And also on the cockpit, there's one button, a mechanic button, that the marshals can press and put the car in neutral. Because sometimes if the car stops because of a problem in the gearbox, they cannot put it, put it in neutral from here. So you have a mechanic button that you can push and the car will always go to neutral so that you can push it around the truck. What is the weight of this steering wheel? I don't know. That's something that I don't know. But I can, I, I can, I can, I can get that information while you're having lunch. Um, last thing is the steering wheel. Reverse. Rever uh, the reverse is in the in the cockpit, in the cockpit, not on the steering wheel. Because uh, hopefully they don't use it. <laughs> uh, last thing is the screen. So this has been introduced three years ago, and they can have all sorts of informations here. And the most important thing about this the, the screen is that sometimes the engineers want to communicate something with the driver without having to say it on the radio. Everyone can listen to the conversation on the radio, the FIA and all the other teams. So sometimes you want to give them some information, so they put up a code here, something, and they will tell the drivers this way. Rev limiter here. Uh, in the rev limiter also you have this here, down in here, so that um, one of these lights always shows the driver when the DRS is open. And also a light will pulse when they can use the DRS. Because you know, they don't always know if they're one second below the uh, with the driver in front of them. So they have two ways of knowing when they can use the DRS. A light here and a beep sound in their earpiece. So when they hear the sound, when they see the light here, they can open the DRS.